my name's Jim Driver and I'm super excited because today we're going to be cooking and eating a whole mammoth. No we're not, I'm actually a vegetarian. But we've got a cracking video for you today. Stay tuned and please subscribe. First of all, I've got a few things I've got to point out. Otherwise, this little film will not make a lot of sense. First of all, continuity. Continuity, yes, very important. Various parts of this film were made at various times of the year. I might have long hair, short hair, I might be wearing glasses, not wearing glasses. It might be August of last year, might be September, might be now which is actually January of 2020. If I think it matters, I will mention when it is, when the film is being made. If not, just go with the flow, please. If you watched my last video, you will remember that I explained how I was going to do one last show before I stopped promoting live gigs. If you missed that, there's a link here. What I was going to do was, was do a weekend at Margate Winter Gardens, a very nice place on the southeast coast of England, very near where I live in Ramsgate. Um, it's quite a large place, built in, I think, um, 1904 or something like that. And um, it's just one of those old seaside halls. People who've played at the Winter Gardens include Lo Laurel and Hardy, um, the Beatles and just about everyone you can think of has played at Margate Winter Gardens. So I thought I would take over the whole of the Winter Gardens to do a weekend music festival indoors. I basically set about booking all of the acts and um, I booked three days of entertainment in two halls on two stages. So let's go back in time to me talking about getting that together. So, who was playing at Margate Rhythm and Rock? Let's, let's look at the lineup. Well, on Friday, there was Lindisfarne and the men they couldn't hang. Saturday, Wilco Johnson, the formerly the lead guitarist with Dr. Johnson. I mean, Dr. Feelgood, Focus from Holland, Gina Washington and the Ram Jam Band. And on Sunday, Steve Harley and Cockney Rebel. Obviously, there were lots more acts over the whole weekend on two stages. Pretty good value, I'd say. What could possibly go wrong? Spoiler alert, things didn't go quite according to plan. <laughs> I basically need a thousand people to break even. Now, bearing in mind that this kind of show, if this was a, like an outdoor show, a festival, I think we'll get between two and 5,000. The problem with it is being indoors is the fact that we don't have any space for people to go out, out camping. So they have to um, really stay in hotels or be bees. And even though Margate is part of the Thanet coastal area which includes Ramsgate and Broadstairs you'd think there'd be lots of hotels well there used to be but not anymore so the big problem is there aren't quite enough hotels to mean that everybody that goes to your show can stay in a hotel so you've got to attract a lot of local people you see this is how it gets boring isn't it so I'm going to stop there let's not talk about all the minute of it Let's just go back in time to that first morning, Friday the 4th of September 2019. Here I am then. Good morning, adventurers. How are you today? It's Friday at about 8.30 and it's on Friday the 6th of September, which is the first day of the Margate Rhythm and Rocks. I went to bed about midnight, had had a, a beer or two last night, one or two beers, but I needed to r relax. But then I woke up about um, six o'clock in the morning and couldn't get back to sleep again. So, so I've not had a lot of sleep, but I feel reasonably okay and eager to get on with it.
Well, the whole weekend went very well. Artistically, it was a huge success. Everybody told me what a fantastic time they had. The only problem is there weren't enough people there, so it basically cost me... The idea was that I was going to take that and make a bit more perhaps at Margate and go travelling and do lots of things that I wanted to, you know, it would have been nice. <laughs> so anyway, what the situation is now is, I don't have that, I've got a little bit of money but not enough, so I've got to do a Margate 2020 I think. I've got to make sure it makes money, so stay with me on that one. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please like it down below. Subscribe, please do. Please subscribe. Please comment as well, because we like people who say what they think, as long as it's nice. Keep it nice, please. And um, you don't have to mention my st my st um, stutter, because I do know that I, that I have one. It always comes a bit of a surprise when um, people put down oh you've got a stutter as if i'm gonna go oh have i so you, you can mention it if you want i don't care but um best well it's, it's entirely up to you well thank you for watching and i hope you'll join me next time which will be very exciting i can guarantee well almost guarantee well i can guarantee join me next time please and also look in the a description down below and if everything takes your fancy please feel free to follow the link see you next time bye